first of all, I mean, there's only one place I can start. You were renewed for a second season, which, I mean, come on, how were you not going to be? But like that news must have been so exciting. What yeah. are you hoping to see happen for Cole? And what do you want to be addressed in terms of the finale aftermath? Because you guys really like left us on a cliff here. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. I remember, first off, I remember um, reading the scripts for the first time. Um, we did it. We kind of surprise table read the the end together. And I wow. immediately I immediately remember thinking, we have to get a season two because I need to know what happens. Um, and and for the record first, I don't know what happens, but I am just as excited as everybody else. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, this the process of, you know, becoming Cole Walter was the first of its kind for me. So I think there's a lot that you you start to get like a Noah starts to get into Cole and I, and I, I try to keep it pretty separate. So when I think about moving forward, I know I have little control. Our wonderful writers will, 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 ha will do, will have their way with whatever will happen. And I will appreciate it because, well, they've done us, they've done us so well so far. So I, you know, I, I hope that for, as I would hope for any human being that they continue to learn and hopefully take as much out of their experiences to craft them into the best person that they can be. Um, and I think Cole, there's a lot, you know, I was really happy that he started to learn some things as season one, uh, you know, got, got going. And um, there was a little bit of a, you know, it's complicated. It's complicated stuff, you know, yeah. young, young love, family, family conflict, um, so I hope that he realizes how special that family around him is. Um, I was just talking about how it's the best thing I have in my life. They're my friends and my family, right. and the people who, who know me for me, f for my good, for my bad, for my worst days. Right. Yeah. And I hope that he realizes how special the, everyone around him is and he just keeps learning from that. So, yeah. No, no, like too specific details. Like, no, I listen, he, I hope he has a red Porsche in season two, you know, <laughs> you know? Uh, that, that type of thing, nothing like that. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm really excited because I don't I know. It's the best attitude to have, though, because then you get to really like you don't have necessarily expectations, but then you go in and you get to be like, OK, I have this. How am I going to approach it? And you just get to kind of yeah. do it in that moment. And it's almost your first instinct, which I think. I'm not an actor, so I can't say, but I think that would be most interesting for me. Could have fooled me with that yes. explanation. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, I think, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of non actors will ask, how do you, how do you memorize the lines? And that's right. such a common question, but to me, it's always, it's not really about memorizing the lines. It's about knowing your character and then yes. whatever, he, whatever the he is, whatever they're saying is, yeah. It just, it's not like I have to say this. It's like, I'm Cole. This is how I respond. Yeah. This is how I'm here. So, you know, you hope that that work, you, you do enough of that work so that you give yourself the possibility to be there for whatever's happening. So it's scary. Well, you're you're but... making me add in another question now. I'm just going to add this in because I have to ask yeah. you, did you get to improvise at all? Like add in little details that you thought were important to Cole for the scene or how he would respond, anything like that at all? Um, there, so we had a little bit of freedom, um, especially, you know, physically and with a character like Cole, who yeah. I think his presence, be careful here, his presence, there's been a lot of talk of, you know, there's the, the Cole effect, right? Which in, you know, when you, when you read it for the first time, it's like, how are we going to, how is this going to like, not yeah. be like, maybe people are, are going to hate me after. And, you know, I think being delicate with jumping into a world where your character walks down a hallway and people are like, you know, yeah. so, so you have to kind of create that, that presence where you see, you know, with the leg injury, you sometimes you, you see a bit of a limp. Sometimes you can tell if um, there's a moment where he's not feeling like Cole. And that, so much of the show was about that for me, finding those moments where you have to, make yourself appear to be the previous Cole, but you're not feeling like what Cole might've been. And you're trying to find that balance between who you really are. 
as a as a person and that's that's the journey he's on and i think i think he starts to to find it but it's a it's a long road it's a tough road and it's one that we travel our whole lives trying to find who we are it's it's an ever everlasting process so forget what the question was no you answered it great and you know what this is exactly why i wanted to speak with you because cole is just he immediately captured me as a very interesting character and i knew you probably did a lot of balancing and work behind the scenes to make it come across that way so that was you answered it perfectly this is exactly why i wanted to speak to you. cool cool then i uh, i won't even reflect on how how much of a ramble answer that was and i'll just go I ramble with... too we're all good we'll ramble together cool let's do it <laughs> I love how you had mentioned in the beginning how important family was to you. As I mentioned, I watched the show with my mom. Family is very important to me. Very, And I love that this show incorporated that in, in the middle of the teen drama and the love triangles. Family was a very big core center. And Cole having seven siblings is, I can imagine how much fun that was to film. But I'm curious, and I know this is a hard question. I know it's like picking almost a favorite child, oh, but geez. which re oh, which relationship was your favorite or most fun to just explore on screen? Um, okay, so that I will give a few versions of different answers. Go for it. I'll hear I want to hear everything. Because I, I don't mind starting by saying um Cole and Danny's relationship as twins is was it doesn't like it never popped off the page as oh the, the show's about the twins. It's not about the twins. The show is about so many things, which for one is really cool to hear you say you watch it with your mother because I, I've i been hearing that, that people are watching it with their families. You know, I, And I saw our wonderful showrunner, Melanie, say something about, you know, you want to be able to watch a 15-year-old daughter and a 45-year-old father like yes. together. And that's such a special time to, you know, I, I, I watch so many shows. With, here I go again. I know I'm not answering questions. I, I I, I watch so many shows with my family and it's like quality time. And you, you remember those times in your life. And yes. I think the pandemic brought a lot of those times where you were so isolated with a group of people and the shows you were watching, the music you were listening to, that stuff yeah. defines those time periods. And yeah. it's so special. It's so much more special, especially reflectively like Ted Lasso, we watched in the pandemic. Yes. Too. Can, you can you imagine going yeah. through the fear and the anxiety of the pandemic and getting to watch Ted Lasso as a fan. I know that was me and my mom was Shit's Creek. And I know me and my dad is anything Marvel. It's like stuff like that is, and it makes the show experience so much more special and mm -hmm. makes you remember it too. Oh my God. I just got the chills. It is so, it's so special to think that I could make, I, that's really the coolest thing. No, genuinely, we turned it on and we were like, one more episode. One more, I know you have work tomorrow, but we're like, one more episode. Oh, I'm, like, let's go I'm gonna this. cry. I mean, that's amazing. Like, it's so amazing to think that I could be that for one person even, yeah. maybe. Yeah, genuinely, that, we're ready. My mom was like, so is there more? Not yet. Well, you gotta There's more coming, mama. There's more coming. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Uh, the question, uh, the question. So Connor Stanhope, who plays Danny, yes. one of my dear friends, I've talked about this um, a couple times. Whenever I'm asked uh, uh, actor, most like their character or, you know, who would you want to be friends with in real life? And I've said him every time because I mean it because, you know, at, at first I, I wasn't sure, you know, you get cast, you don't know a person as, as your twin. That's such a special bond. But this gentleman, Connor Stanhope, has such a wonderful, pure, he's funny, he's kind. He's just one of the best people I've ever known as, as, as Connor. And then Danny has a lot of those same qualities. Yeah. And me as Noah, I see uh, Connor and I just, I just have so much gratitude for him in my life. We were texting like last yesterday. And Next just, time you text him, tell him I loved his work. Loved his work. I will. I, I was going to text him right now. I cannot get more off track. Um, but yeah, so so getting to have a character where, like I was saying, Noah, I'm so appreciative of that. Yeah. I don't think Cole appreciates it as much as he just feels the relationship at when he needs it. Like yeah. there are some moments and, um, you know – Everybody's on the internet a little bit. So I have seen a couple Cole and Danny 
like cut together edits. There's, I love edits like that though. It's so cute. And like there's It's so sweet. there's so many moments that Yeah. are, you know, it, 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 there's a little bit of like razzing back and forth, but then there's moments where, hey, like, you know, you're fixing Jackie's teapot. That's really sweet. And it's like, oh yeah, whatever. But then there's like those little moments where I, like we're just sitting there eating popcorn together and like laying on the couch and after the bonfire scene, he, you know, he's the one there that reaches up, grabs my hand, driving home, like Yes. all these moments where here I go again, like I can feel like, like hair standing up on my arm I know. because it, because it is, it feels so special and it feels Yeah. so real to reflect on because I feel like that's a real friendship born in discovering a, an on-screen relationship. Yes. And, Yeah. and uh, that one was super, super cool to explore. And as like in every moment too, he's, I'm thinking about now he's, he's right there by my side, you know, at, at the wedding, it's like, you know, there's, there's a, uh, you know, not too bad in New York. And, and he's like, right there. He's like, you okay. It's like always, you okay. You okay. It's so sweet. So yeah, that, that one was really fun to explore. And then, you know, of course, of course, Cole and Jackie's relationship. Like I could talk at length about how, how special that is to Oh yeah, trust be a me, part we'll get of. into that. But, but uh, of the Walter family, I would say that them would be Alex. And again, Yes, you. Ashby Gentry, one of my best friends, like these people are such a part of my life now, but that one was the opposite in, in enjoyable to discover, but the opposite in, uh, you know, uh, approach. Yeah. Uh, there were times where we wouldn't interact as much um, because when we would, we would just like, there'd be a group of 10 of us and we'd just be like off to the side talking about like something that was so niche for out for just our ears and so when we're on set we kind of there were times where we stayed apart and getting to have those scenes like the fight scenes and stuff and and just working with somebody so so there for you in the scene and, and like i said someone that's so there for you on a personal level off off Yeah. screen it's, it's really cool and that was that one was super fun They're all fun. I mean, Yeah. I uh, I could go down the line, but those are those are the two that like come to my mind really really quickly. Yeah. So you mentioned this a little bit, and this was a question of mine before we said it was on number three. I had to, I had to talk about it. Do The the moment, list. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> whole fixing Jackie's teapot. Oh my gosh. Way to like almost make me cry really, because it was just so, so sweet. And I just, it was such a beautiful moment. And then when she, the fact that he didn't give it to her and then when she finds it, it was just everything, the way that was done. so perfect no other word for it that was one of my favorite moments i'm curious which moment of their relationship stands out to you as the moment like the moment where you're like how could you not ship these two look at this look at the material You know, there's a few, there's, a, there's so many amazing i know moments. And I think, oddly enough, when I think about moments that really define the relationship, I think about, I, these may not be what you'd expect, but bringing up the teapot, the scene at the end of the Thanksgiving episode, episode five, Such a when, good episode. when that wonderful song com comes on and, and Jackie and Alex have their moment, Yeah. And like the whirlwind of emotions that is, I watched it back and that was one of the scenes where I actually like, it's like, man, like I feel for this Cole guy a little bit because he's about to do the thing that there are so many parts of him telling him not to do it. There's so many parts of him very excited to do it. Yeah. There are so many, there's so many things going on in this, in this young man's brain and To see that just as all of that is, is speaking, to walk out and see your brother and the choice to just kind of walk back behind That that was, door. Uh, yeah, it's 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 heartbreaking because I think we've all we've all known that moment. And it's right. you know, in real life, it's sometimes not as overt as like I have the I have the key to hopefully the the good thing in my hand and then the the other thing is real. But you know, that moment where you find out the girl that you really like is is talking to that other guy and well you guys are coming along pretty well but she just you know they're going to homecoming together or, or one of those things it's like you just your heart sinks and you just oh, there's nothing you can do
is your aim in this interview to make me cry, Noah? Because yes. you're getting you're getting very close. My objective list. Oh, make, so, that make, is such a good mo- the way you're describing make the interview it cry. Yeah, make the interviewer cry, ramble at least for three minutes about every question. No, um, it is, I love, I do, I like talking about uh, the experience that was the show and yeah. with people who have experienced it from the other side. Um, so many of these moments, uh, they, 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 you know, sometimes it's hard to, to watch yourself and hard to like take you like Noah out of the moment, but then there are other ones when I, you know, you get to watch other relationships develop in the show and you get to watch other people develop in the show. And then, you know, kind of like you, you get to see it all unfold in a, in a way that was not the experience filming it because you're it's, there's so many technical aspects and it's, it's chopped up in so many different ways and different orders and different people. And so it's, yeah, it's, it is, it's fun to reflect on and it's fun to talk about because it is such a, it's such an interactive show because there's so many, you know, between the team, Cole, team Alex, team Jackie, between the like yep. <laughs> everything. Like it there's a lot of dialogue and yeah. I wasn't sure how I would approach it, you know, but going home and talking to my family and all these people I love so much, they want to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna Not right. Yeah. So it's it's been it's been so amazing to see people enjoy it and to see dialogue around it. And I I love to I love to reflect on it. So it's, it's cool. It's very cool. That's, that wasn't the question. Was it cool? Listen, the question was moment and you went, you just, the question was here. You went here in the best way possible and gave me an answer that I know I'm not going to be the only one that appreciates that answer. Just telling you. Oh, that's that thing where other people might see it. Darn. One thing right now is the love triangles and kind of like you said, the dialogue around them is so beyond interesting. And usually it's funny because it's very interesting for me as an audience member when I can see if I'm picking a ship or I'm torn. This one, I did pick a ship. Don't tell anyone else just between me and you. It's it's you. I picked a side. The teapot got me. That was it. Once the teapot <laughs> was it. But I'm curious for you. As an audience member, when you've watched a show that maybe has a love triangle, is there a ship where you were immediately like, well, this is it. This is the side I have to stick with. Or where you were like, well, wait a minute. But this happens this episode and this happens this episode. Is there anyone that comes to mind? You know, this is funny. This one has never crossed my mind for this question. And okay. I, this, is, this is no disrespect to these filmmakers or actors, of which I am an admirer of. But I just thought of like, one of the original love triangles, which this is not yeah. never considered a love triangle. Watch, I'm going to do that smart list thing. You Ooh, I love, list? let's go. Where they talk about it, but they don't say what it is right away. <laughs> I love smart list, by the way. Um, but so I never thought of it as a love triangle. It doesn't appear to be one. Like it's not in your face love triangle, yeah. but it is, but it, but there's love triangle aspects to it. Yep. People are going to hate me for this. I want to like, I love it. D- the dramatic suspense, right? Rose, Jack, and Cal. Titanic. Okay. Noah. I, okay. So I, as I say it, like the Cal, I've never no. had a chance, but, but I just, I, that came to mind, you know, it still counts. I, but because nothing, because for some reason, I, I, um, admittedly, I like didn't watch like any in preparation or anything like I, you know, I, because you don't, you you know, you want to be careful to see things that have similarities and. Yeah. um, You don't want to copy anything. You want to make it your own and add add to the list, almost the the ever growing list, but add to the list in your own way. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of like, I I don't have like one that defines my, my experience in the, in the genre. Yeah. Um, Man, I yeah, like that's why the I don't know why the Titanic thing came to mind. I think because I just watched that video of uh, of I'm talking about the casting process. Uh, yeah. It's uh, James Cameron. Yeah, James Cameron yeah. talking about the casting process and saying, you know that that Leo came in and I love Leonardo DiCaprio. I, he was like one yes. of my early inspirations. Um, but talking about him coming in for the casting, like oh, I'm not going to read. And he's like, he was like this little like kind of brat kid, and then he 
he turned into Jack like that. Yeah. And it makes sense because it feels like that. But I don't know why. That's that's probably not like a mainstream love triangle. Um, I kind of like that you didn't pick like a mainstream though, because it makes you gotta like think back to the ones that aren't at you know how many people say the same exact things over and over and over again because it's the easy sure. answer. I love that you came. I've never heard that one. And I absolutely love that you picked that. Because I th- I think there's not really team, like nobody's team cast. No, because it was be- it right? was before that era of like yeah. getting shirts with team Cole or team so and so. Oh, on. no. Do those exist? Are they out there? Oh, they- let me tell you, they'll exist soon enough. If they don't exist currently, they will exist soon enough. There are There is merch for teams. There. Oh, forget. you're going to you're going to experience like a whole. Press different world now that you're part of like a ship uh, yeah i um, exactly soon enough you'll get one gifted to you if i ever see one i'll gift one to you first yes i yeah i would i just want to get them for like my grandma and my my parents like i want my grand i want my grand i would i can't walk around in a team cole shirt i walk around in a team alex or a team jackie yep. or a team Danny or the Isaac defect is real. Uh, <laughs> so I, uh, I'll, I would walk around one of those, but I would want my family. Like, you know, my mom. Is, you know, That's a Christmas people. gift. I right. Use, I could have used that a couple it's months. It's a Christmas gift. I'm getting next yeah. Christmas that right before season two comes out. Is it better gotta, come out next year? I gotta, better I come gotta out this it. year or next year? I'm telling you, I can't wait any longer than that. It has to come out well, soon. I'm, I'm hoping that'd be great. <laughs> I don't know though. That'll, that'll be the next Christmas gift round. And then you can take a nice that could be the group picture for a Christmas card. Any th- possibilities are endless. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens in, in <laughs> season two. They just they just they just write everybody to be team Alex. And my my parents are like, don't, don't come home for Christmas. We don't want to see your face for Christmas. I'm telling you, watch, a fan is gonna come up to you wearing some merch. And I'm and that. Next question. Do you have a favorite fan interaction so far, whether it's in person or on social media, Ooh. anything like that? As a fan myself, I always like to throw that question. Well, I would say that that happens far fewer than you would think. I, really? Because a, a lot of people have thought that. Um, um, I will just go with the like the last one, which was um, as as – you may have noticed I don't have blonde hair. So, and sometimes uh, after a few days uh, of not being on a television set, I have a little bit of facial hair come in. Yeah. So I don't think I appear exactly as Cole Walter, like walking up and down yeah. the street. But I was at Sephora and I was I was getting uh, some skincare and uh, it was late. I was wearing a, I was wearing a beanie hat. So, Dark hair, beanie, a little bit of stubble. But someone really, really recognized you. They deserve like major so, props. So she, so she walks up as the wonderful employees at Sephora always do. Uh, is there anything I could help you find today? And I turn and uh, said, you know what? I was looking for something and you could kind of see her face. Like I could kind of tell her face. She's like, Oh my god, I love your show. And and she was very sweet. She helped me um get some hyaluronic hyaluronic acid, I believe yep. was what I was shopping for that day. But she said she had finished the show the day before. Wow. Or, did she finish the show or was she on episode nine? Something of like yep. in the late episode. So she had just been watching and she said that she heard my voice, and that is what triggered the really me. Yeah. And that was cool because I did an episode of Criminal Minds also. Yep. Um, and that show, that episode is dedicated to the deception of a, like this makeup that our, our characters are wearing. My character in The Wonderful Corey, yep. um, who uh, played my brother in two universes. Uh, waiting on the third. Come on, Corey, let's do it. Um, but uh, no, yeah, that one was the same thing. I had some some you know, people love criminal minds. So yeah. I had friends back home who didn't know I was going to be in it, heard my voice and was like, dude, I, I recognize your voice. And some people said they recognize my hands. 
That's so, like, so funny. Yeah, like it's it's interesting how that works. But I would say uh, the Sephora interaction is my favorite because of just the way it happened. And also because we found some great hyaluronic acid. And there she you go. She, she was so nice. Um, and yeah, I just, uh, you know, it has like literally a handful of a handful of times it's happened. But um, everybody has been so sweet and everybody... Yeah. Um, like I'm usually more nervous about it than, than they are. If they are, uh, you know, just, you want to be, you want to be nice, but I'm like, oh uh, yeah, I, I, I team out or team cool. Like, You're I was like, so nice though. like, I feel like it's genuinely like you could tell how much you enjoy talking about the show and that's everything. Yeah, I may, may, want. Maybe too much. I've been told. I don't know. Just... <laughs> No, absolutely. I can tell you as a fan first, I love geeking out about a show, nerding out about the show for referencing the nerds of color. Nerding out about the show is my favorite thing to do. So. Nerding out about the show. Right? That's... What's up, nerds of color? I'm Noah Lalonde. Let's nerd out about the show. Uh, no, I, you know, I, uh, you only get to do it for the first time once. And yes. if I never work again, if I never get to be a part of a show that people love again, if I never get to do, you know, I I hope to do this for a long time. I love being an actor. I love working with other artists and, and every part of the process. The the first time you read a script, the first time you meet everybody, the, you know, meeting the, the people who, who like make the food on set, like everybody is so necessary to the process. Every single person, um, yeah. you know, I, I, the the transportation department, the people who are driving the vehicles from set to your home that you get to talk to every day, yeah. sometimes for 45 minutes at a time. These people, that world that you live in is the best world. Yeah. And I've had such a good experience. And if it, like I said, if it's the only time, I don't mind talking about it to everybody who will ask because it's it's the best, one of the best things that's ever happened to me. So, you know, I hope I hope that, uh, and maybe I won't always talk about it as at length because you want to leave a little bit to the imagination of, you know, the difference between the actor and the character. But I think some shows lend itself to dialogue and talking yeah. about it. So here I am, we're talking. And I, and I haven't done this that much. So I, I, uh, um, I love it. It's so, but also, and this is something I've noticed whenever I talk to actors that are involved in a show that like fits that young adult, like coming of age genre, those shows end up being the most special only because they touch so many different people. And I've noticed the fandoms for those shows, like really travel with the actor. And it's like, you'll never stop getting known for that no matter what, because those shows touch people in a different way. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like those years are the most important in a lot of ways. And I still think about the shows I watched growing up and, and it's like those shows, no matter what, will always be special. So it's very, I yeah. feel like that's a genre that like, no matter what you do, sticks out. I don't know why it is. I, I think it's because it's just people grow up with them, but yeah, you will you will get asked about that for <laughs> And I love it. I, 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 I do. I mean, it's, you know, like art is, can be so powerful. Yeah. And when you're in these formative years, which I think a lot of, we're always changing, we're always forming, we're always being impacted, but most notably, like, I, I mean, like high school, especially college, like these, these yes. times are performative and what you're watching movies, television, what you're reading, the books you're reading, the music you're listening to, these are, it's the soundtrack. It's the the soundtrack to your life. I just said this 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Well, at this point, not 20 minutes ago, but an hour ago. And, and you know, that stuff is special and you carry it with you. And it's the stuff you can show your your family when they're like, oh, what was it like? When we were on set, yeah. Harry Styles, Harry's House came out, the new album. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And there are certain songs. There's that album. I was just walking through the streets of Calgary to and from a coffee shop, uh, a, a gym, like these things define that, those periods of time. And I think it's the same type of thing with television shows. I yeah. mean, I went, I went through like a breakup one time and I watched mm -hmm. 10 seasons of Friends. And right. yes, I was never single because I had yeah. Rachel and Ross. Exactly. Candy. And Joey and Phoebe yeah. and Monica. I, I named I after I named two, yeah. I had the name of them all. You had to um, name them all. You can't leave one out. 
you're never you're never not at Central. Oh my god, I love so, this. Oh, yeah, that's so that's amazing. You, you know, like like I said, to to even maybe for one person to feel yeah like you were that that thing at that time yeah. is so special, and yeah. you know to share it with some my family, people back home, it's so special to share it with the wonderful sales associate at Sephora. It's so special. Yeah. So it's, you know, we have no, no life without art. Yeah. And there's so many things going on in the world that are, that are scary and they're dangerous and, and we're, we're surrounded by hate and fear. And, you know, it's great to sometimes just go, go to Silver Falls yeah. and go, uh, go hang with, hang with the Walters. So it's, it's it's really special. I don't know what I'm even saying. Like you, like, no, no, no. Ramble you wise, again, I so much. literally took exactly how I was feeling because it's like it does. TV represents such like an escape in the best way possible, and you can forget everything else in the world, and it's just absolutely perfect. So dope. We are oh, we are on the same page. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad because <laughs> sometimes it sometimes it feels like you know we're on a page. But I'm like typing out the words and they're going like sideways and whichever way. But that's what being a writer is. So try you're you're talking to the right people. <laughs> Start one thing and you're like, that's the page. We love yeah, it. Time. And time. we're going down the list to another one of my favorite questions. Okay. So I imagine as an actor, it is so interesting to read the script for the first time. Or in this case, it's based on a book as well. I don't know if you it's very interesting to hear if actors like kind of touched the book or stayed away from the book, anything like that. I don't it's know what you did. Oh my, I love it. oh my God. Right here. So, okay. Now I have to detour a little bit. Now I'm going to annoy you in detour, but we haven't done that yet. We haven't detoured yet. We got it. We got a detour. The book. When did you read it for the first time? Like, did you get the part already? Did you audition and then read it? Anything like that? And how did you find yourself trying to keep, like your mark on the character while also paying tribute to the character on the page. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Um, the t timeline wise, I, I started to get confused somehow in, in talking about the experience. I remember uh, before I did the show, I had a, <laughs> I had a subscription to Panera Bread's uh, unlimited sip club. Oh, wait, so we, we need to be best friends. <laughs> My, yeah well, i think we are at this point i mean come on i mean you, you we spent the holidays together you, me you and your and your mother basically your part, just, listen if you ever want good italian food and you're in new york my grandma will make you a good italian feast okay Anytime i'm there want, an open invitation uh I, i'm gonna write that down i'm keeping okay, i'm holding you open next, invitation. Next, season open two sauce. recap is in person <laughs> yes 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 in there person. we go um so I'm at Panera every day, nearly. Um, before like I, the part, even I would I would go there. I would I would drink too much coffee. I would write. You know, I I work on little little projects of my own. So I would I would write stuff. I would read. I would I would take notes on stuff. And then when I would get auditions, I would you know study them. I would read scripts like yeah. Walter Boy. Um, but I I I don't remember if I did it in the process of because you know with the, with auditions you know you, you do the initial self tape you know a week or so later you do a callback yeah and then you do chemistry read and then you kind of you're in limbo you're waiting yeah and i i now i'm forgetting if i i think it was after i got the part i think it was after i got the part yeah but i bought the book and i went back to panera and i read it in two days maybe maybe one maybe Mm, one to three days i'm yeah. a little it's a little, a little you're like time. me with the binge watching there you go i'm like one to, that yeah. was a weekend that's well, well that was the thing is like i wanted to read it because inevitably they were going to be so that was that kind of leads me to what the process was for me is yeah. reading the book reading the script and kind of letting the venn diagram be like all right i like that what's in the middle like let's mm -hmm. let's put a little bit of emphasis on like Let's let's know what those things in the middle are. Yeah. Let's leave the book behind after the read yeah. because there will be things in the script that are not in the book. And you have yes, to, the ending change. So you have to like you have to you really have to, yeah. the script. Yeah. So yes. um, but it's 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 invaluable to have a book to as like your first your first yeah. thing. So you have a you have, you know, 
a little bit more um and ashby always talks about this beautifully um but you know whether it be little easter eggs about physicality or just understanding a little bit of the way the character moves in a world like giving you a little bit of more of a blueprint because you don't get all the scripts right away yeah um so oh yeah i was gonna ask you that you don't get all the scripts right away no no no, oh, no. see you're like you're like us when i'm like can we squeeze in one more before the night <laughs> yeah i mean it was it's been talked about before in some interview somewhere with someone yeah. but we didn't get the scripts for i wonder if i should say this but whatever we didn't get the scripts for episode 10 or maybe 9 and 10 until we read it at a table read with everybody so so there was i mean we had just been filming for this whole time yeah. it was the, the, the last things we filmed so a month before we're about to say goodbye to this amazing experience we all sit down i mean there were there were tears there's some you need the tissue boxes next to you right yeah. yep so, and, and it's all kind of being discovered right there by everybody and yeah. it was so i mean it was so emotional because you're thinking about you know think 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 everything that we got season two but yeah at that time you don't know if you're never going to see these people again. exactly yeah and it's like a goodbye in a way yeah so that mixed with the emotions that are episode nine and ten yeah. And you you have a yeah. heck of an experience at that at yeah. that table. Meet. Um, so those ones, yeah, it was like real time. Like, but by that point, like I said, you're in the like you're in the pocket. You know, I'm I'm yeah. I'm showing up to set, and I I I put on the wardrobe, the you know whatever it is that day, some cuff jeans or whatever, and yeah, and I'm, I'm cool. Like, so the yeah. words kind of. It's, thankfully our writers are, are fantastic and and they you know you read what they have for you and it just it yeah. works in your world it works in your head it works for cole walter and yeah um, so that that's when as an actor you the nerves of am i gonna get fired you know the, the first couple weeks i'm like yeah. am I gonna get fired? What am I doing? um to the last couple weeks being like this is what it's about feeling like you know your your guy and feeling like whatever they put on that page you're you're like excited to know what's next yes. for your guy and it was great it must have been the most incredible experience to have that moment with everyone rather than reading it by yourself i feel like you know it must be interesting to get all the scripts and kind of know the the full arc but i think it must be just more rewarding to have that moment with everyone and get to react live reacts almost like you're what like you're watching it almost yeah. for the first time yeah no and and it was it was it was an amazing experience mm -hmm. and it was like a it was a live reaction and there were there were some oohs and ahs and like i said there were there were there were tears i mean you need to yeah yeah so I mean, and it that's was the best it, it part was really, yeah and i mean there's there's just so many you know reflecting on the experience so many good times and yes you know, you know it, off screen there were great times but honestly so many of them happened like you can you see the set like you see the the yeah. Walter Ranch like it's beautiful there was it was just just serene it was peaceful it was perfect like getting to go there for work and you know the 45 50 minute drive from you know where I, where I lived through the countryside oh yeah beautiful Mount, mountains in the back almost like no that Truman show thing would make a lot of sense right now giving me this <laughs> perfect experience um but yeah, it was just so good. It was good. It was so good. Um, no, it was so it was so great. And that was like the cherry on top. So I mean, there was like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, can I get like 10 cherries? So there was that's what the Yeah, it's like know. a kid in a candy store. Yeah, yeah that's what it was like. So yeah. no, it's great. I love it. One time you guys gotta do a set visit. Take us journalists out of the house into a set visit. That's what we I gotta mean, do. There should, I mean, I have no business saying this, but there, like, there needs to be like a, a a visit, like a visiting hours at the Walter Ranch. Like right there. I mean, yep. people stepping onto that, you wouldn't believe it. It's yeah. Would you believe me if I said it's even prettier in person? Like, I can no, I can imagine because it's like that must be a different feeling. Be, like yes the tv teleports you like transports you to that setting of that bliss and like that relaxation but i cannot imagine being on the actual set and just like walking around and like 
I mean, amazing. I'll, I'll talk to my people. So, no, talk to I, your people. I, if not, lots of pictures. I mean, you ever see like I've seen those uh, when casts of shows go to different yep. countries and they go on stage and they talk. Yeah, we need to. We need to just get everybody on that on that Walter Ranch patio. Yep, big we enough need to have like nice i mean you had you had a wedding there come on noah i mean there was a wedding there i think we yeah. can i think you yeah. can do anything now yeah no it i'm excited to see what it does honestly that, i know that's yeah thing. like what's there are so many things there's so yeah. many things and yeah. i was obviously tuned into the storylines that cole was involved in and, and some of the surrounding ones but watching the show with so many so many characters and so many so many interesting things happening because it's it an like, instant ensemble cast. It is yeah. like so so watching that so is like many. there's a yeah. lot of new experiences for me in yeah. the viewing process. So that was it was great. It was cool. It was entertaining. It was yeah. really great. I'm a firm believer when I watch television and I watch movies, there's always something I walk away with, whether it's tied to a character I resonated with or just the storylines in general. That's just something I love about film and television. Curious for you, what was most important in your opinion for audiences to take away or see, like really understand and resonate with when it came to Cole? Because I think, as I mentioned earlier, he was just one of those characters that was very, it was deeper than you saw. And the little mm -hmm. things mattered so much more than as he was, you know, presenting. Yeah. Well, thank you for saying that. Yes. Um I would say to take away from Cole is, and it it means a lot to hear you say that you you felt those like those little things because Cole is yeah. such a there's such a duality to him because the whole Cole effect thing the the best quarterback the school's yeah. ever seen all of this all of this stuff that he that he was there is this weird thing where people pretty much still view him like that but there was a certain level of like oh man it's a shame what happened to that cole so there's yeah that balancing yeah so trying yeah. to trying trying to navigate what it is to have the thing you always thought you would be doing taken away from you at and such a young age at such a young age and, and after then, all that work and after all the work and then to see to kind of there are obviously times where he's doing the, oh, woe is me. But then to have somebody like Jackie come and, you know, not that loss or trauma should be comparative. It's all relative. But, I mean, she lost her, her whole family. It's yeah. it, it, of the worst tragedy that could happen. So to see her, to have her come into his life and the whole, all the Walter's life and to see her navigate it, her own tragedy – and to be inspired by her and yeah. to see that, you know, if something is broken, it it, it can be fixed. It can be fixed. And, you that know. That is it, such a, a nice quote. I just, that's one of my favorite quotes. Yeah. And, and it's maybe corny that I brought it up into a real answer, but. No, I love. It, it's true. It is. It's, it's true. so true. And, and I think that would, that would be the takeaway to know that when things get hard sources of inspiration they don't always make sense sometimes they just it's divine intervention they appear for you and and to not be afraid to lean into those things and not be afraid to look around you and feel the support from your family and your friends and your twin brother or you know to yeah. to, to realize all the things that in spite of the the darkness that you feel engulfed in, in spite of that there is there is a light and to f now like i there have been times where you know oh, it's just a it's just a leg injury it's just football but you know i played i played hockey growing up my entire yes. life and i thought that would be the define that was the defining thing of yes my first 19 years yeah. so when i stopped playing i was a you know you're like afraid to go places because every person in my life where are you playing this year you know like how's the season yeah. going some people don't even know so you have to then dig that back up and explain it to them. And it's like you become like a little bit of a, like a shell of yourself. Yeah. And Cole, trying Cole, to discover the next thing. Yeah. And and you're rebuilding. You're rebuilding who you are. And Cole, yes. uh, 
And coal is in the middle of that journey. So I think a, I, I like to look at coal as like a younger version of me, yeah. uh, having not learned a few of the things that I needed to learn to become the person I am today. And I, but but I wouldn't be here in in this form without the people, the love, the support. Yeah. And so recognizing that sometimes you got to zoom out and see like my problem is so intense here. But when you zoom out, you see all the people that are around you. You yeah. see all the, all the cushion you have. And, and, you know, that would be my roundabout way of saying just to. You know, we, we don't get to control what happens to us. We get to control how we, how we move forward. And I think that's a big lesson, a big lesson for everybody in the show. Yeah. And, and then, you know, you do what you can to combat it, but also you, you lean into your family, you lean into the love around you. And, and I try to do it in my own life. So yeah, maybe I learned, maybe I subconsciously took some from Cole, but I, there's a lot of work still to be done for him and I'm excited to see where he, yeah. uh, where he does, how he, how he goes about it. Yep. And last question for you. One of my favorites to always ask actors. And I know you have a season two, so I'm not sure how much you were allowed to do this, but did you take or steal anything from set? Or steal anything. Because if I was an actor, man, on that last day. <laughs> you know, I um I don't I don't think I did. Um because a lot of this a lot of this experience was my first time, you know, I've done some smaller projects, yeah. uh, indie work, short films. Mm -hmm. um, I was just, I just carry with me the experience. It's, uh, it's, uh, it feels corny, but. No, I, it's true. I don't think I took anything physical because that, that, you know, that stuff is, w w what is that, you know, but yep. the people. I took the friendships, the connection, yeah. the experience. It was the greatest experience of my life. I actually don't think I took anything. I do have, um, I have a lot of photos and stuff. I had this, this notebook. Oh, actually, wait, this might've been used in the show. Exclusive. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hold, hold on. Um, this was, I think this was used in the show. This like little picture. Oh, yes, what is it? Yeah, so I have this. There you go. For uh, all the creators over at uh, My Life with the Walter Boys, if you need this picture, it is safe. Um, it's safe. It's, it's but, here. But I'm a big note taker. I'm a big yeah. journaler. And so I have all these like little journals and and I would just write about. Oh, my I love that. Stuff. And my, um, my, my sister gave me this notebook and it says like to my brother, Oh, that's actually really cute. To my brother, I always remember you're braver, you're stronger. And now it's too long, but it, it's like a sweet note that says to my brother. Yeah. And in the times when I was really nervous, I would like write about that. And I would think about my sister and just like, you know, the what it is to to know that she's always out there doing her thing in the world. Yeah. It brings peace. And if she's going to do her thing out in the world, I'm going to do my thing out you in the world. You got to do your thing. So, yeah, I mean... It's not a great answer. Oh, this is cool. I might, I might, I might have showed that, but oh, that's awesome. Well, Walter, Walter Ranch, you know, where but was that from? That's so cute. That that was created by by Nikki and Connor. Um, oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god, since twenty twenty two, that's so cute. Yeah, it's super cool, and and we got them, and everybody freaked out. They're they're the best like rap gift of all time yeah uh so i'll think of i i'm gonna be like oh shoot no i did take that but uh, nothing is i coming like the time. journal answer you shared though because i think prop is great but like to actually write down like how you oh. were feeling in that moment nothing can replace that because you oh, try I mean, to think back but yeah. you'll never get that same feeling unless you you have it captured in some way yeah and i haven't opened that uh like the pages obviously i just opened it but the pages yeah. of it um when we go back i'll probably have to like reflect on some of that right. stuff and that'll be an emotional experience but it's yeah it's one worth having uh yeah. as as most are uh yeah. as far as emotional experiences go so you know you are by far i am saying this 100% like you are one of my favorite people to speak with like this interview, 
was amazing. Thank you for the oh, time. It's been a treat to talk to you. And I, I knew it would be, honestly, when I watched uh, some of your other interviews, because it was Thank very you. insightful and not not like the normal, not the normal thing. And it was it was wonderful. It was wonderful to talk to you. You were absolutely just the best. Likewise. I enjoyed it. I can't wait to do it yeah. again. I can't wait to give yes. you guys season two. And I know. Yeah, keep killing it. I'll be I'll be watching your interviews. We'll keep we'll keep in touch. Let's do we'll it. keep in touch. Have a good Peace one. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Bye. Talk to, talk to you soon. Bye. Talk to you. <laughs> directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. You know